First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash, and the ones still those green millstone, while it is truth. And also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad, I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of deed lesson is, all hell breaks loose. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this way for you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we uh, start the daily lesson, let's look up the phrase, uh, all hell breaks loose. All hell breaks loose. So it reads, it says, suddenly there is pandemonium. So we look up that word in a, min in a minute. And let's drop down here. It says, what does all hell uh, will break loose mean? It says, if all hell breaks loose, a situation suddenly becomes violent and noisy, especially with people arguing and fighting. You know what I'm saying? That goes into what? Envy and strife. So we already know that we're seeing a lot of what? Disorder. We're seeing a lot of what? Civil unrest. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's already rumors of this protesting uh, in New York, also protesting around uh, America. You know what I'm saying? These uh, major cities, you know, uh, because of the... Uh, the conflict that's going on in uh between uh Israel and Hamas, things are what are picking up. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Once again, also we seeing that uh they are protesting in New York. You know, they're going back and forth, these uh Palestinian uh uh citizens and also these uh uh Israelis, uh fake ass Jews, you know what I'm saying? They're constantly going back and forth right here in America. And they're also they're blaming Biden for helping Israel, you know what I'm saying? So that about so a lot of things are constantly picking up. We already seeing that this nation is divided, distress of nation. We seeing that we read upon a what? A great economic collapse, you know what I'm saying? One prophecy behind another. And also the plagues are not going to slack down for a moment. So we already seeing that things are constantly what? Picking up what in Israel, you know what I'm saying? We seeing that these uh heathens are raging. They imagine a what a vain thing. And also we seeing that what that Ezekiel chapter 38 war is coming what full circle. The Lord is what is gathering the nation. And also was uh in the news uh that is saying that uh uh, Russia uh, has attacked uh, NATO, you know what I'm saying, some of their uh, infrastructure, you know what I'm saying, so we, we still, uh, it's still a developing uh, 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 news right now, so we're going to keep our eyes on it, so one thing about it is that we knowing that a lot of things are coming, so you know it's rumors of war all over the place saying that Lebanon is, is joining uh, the war, saying also Syria, you know what I'm saying, so this thing is getting ready to be an all out you know what I'm saying? Assault on what? On Israel. Also on America. You know what I'm saying? So we're seeing that this uprising to happen. Also, uh, the mayor of uh, New York is uh, had uh, put out a warning saying that people need to uh, be very watchful, be vigilant because uh, some of these uh, migrants that has came over the border, you know what I'm saying, that they are, are terrorists, you know, from other countries, you know what I'm saying, but we are not ignorant of Satan device, so we already know that they got what, sleeper, sleeper sales right here in what, Babylon the Great America, hey man, that what, they, uh, this border crisis, you know what I'm saying, we already know that silent invasion, and all, all they need is what, the green light, that order out of chaos, and out of, we already know they get ready to bring it, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be what, great death, great what, persecution. You know what I'm saying? We're at the, what, the beginning of sorrow. We're seeing that we're here. we already telling you about, hey, man, this, everything is getting ready what, to go digital. We know that they get ready to bring that, what, that grain of rice. You know, track and tag everyone. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it is here. It is at the door. A time of trouble that we have never seen before. So a lot of things are just popping, man, left and right, man. One behind uh, the other. And also, uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, and, uh, they said they had to shut down the, uh, Baltimore, uh, airport because, of uh, sub, uh, suspicious, uh, uh, activity. You know, they saying that someone may have had a bomb. So they had to close down a turn, a term, a terminal, uh, a roadway, you know what I'm saying? So as a lot of things are just happening, one behind the other, you know, so, so we seeing that, Hey man, we're here. And also it's uh, rumors that, uh, the U.S. is getting ready to send another uh, uh, aircraft carrier into the metro Mediterranean uh, Sea, and it's also it's also rumored that you know Iran uh, had uh, is uh, involved in helping uh, 
Hamas, and I, but they deny all those claims. So we, hey man, rumors here, rumors there, mischief here, mischief there. And I buy, hey man, make no terror to turn to the Lord because man, man, we're here uprising all over the place. So it's gonna be hell on earth. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hell everywhere you look. You know what I'm saying? So you know, they could call what? It's rumors that they may call or Oracle Five if they find out that uh Russia was involved in this uh attack on nato i have a video on it and also uh this uh they saying something uh october the 12th you know day of resistance that uh these palestinians uh citizens citizens right here in america and also these uh these uh jews over here they saying that they're going to um, make an all-out assault on these uh fake ass jews over here and also in israel you said the leader of hamas i think uh, uh has a bomb has uh has uh, ordered, you know, that they are going to uh, all across the world, all the Jews to try to attack these fake Jews. So, hey, man, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. Can't hardly keep up with all of it. So we seeing that we're here inside the door, man. A lot of things are happening, man. A global invasion, man. So we we know that it's coming. Also, you know, thing we could get a what a nuclear uh, exchange at any given time. But we already know that Babylon the Great will be totally destroyed. You know, in one hour, thy judgment come. So Lord, just get ready to bring forth judgment. So we are here. You know, it's at the door. Hey, man. One thing about it is that, hey, man, we're coming upon this tribulation period. You know, we're living in the end time, real time. We're seeing it happening right before our, our eyes, man. man. And also, I think uh, I think it's October the 14th. It's October the, I can't, I can't remember quite the date. I could be wrong. I think it's October the, the 14th or maybe the 21st. Well, anyway, they're saying this uh, eclipse. They call it the, the ring of fire. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things are coming. The you know, Lord said he's going to show what? Signs and blood moons. You know what I'm saying? So, we're already having all sorts of earthquakes in diverse, uh, diverse places. A lot of things are happening, man. We're knowing that we're in, in the end time. And also what? The Bible is lining up just like clockwork. Any given day. You know what I'm saying? All hell can break loose. You know, chaos. You know, it's all sorts of mayhem. So, before we start today, let's, let's look up this word of uh, pandemonium. Let's look this up right quick. One moment. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Before we start today, let's it says uh chaos, mayhem. Let's see what else we have here. It said havoc. That's what's getting ready to happen. Uh term turmoil, uproar. Let's see what else? Commotion, confusion, uh, disorder. Uh, let's see what else we have here to go good with it. Uh see one moment. It says uh uh let's see what else we have here. Uh, I said confusion. Uh, frenzy. See what else? You pretty much get the picture. So pandemonium mean uh, you know, it says uh, disorder or confusion, uh, uproar. You know what I'm saying? What civil unrest? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh insurrection. You know what I'm saying? Sedition among men. A lot of these things are getting ready to come into play. You know what I'm saying? So we already knowing that we get ready to have that invading for these what UN uh troops are getting ready to come into America and also uh, in collaboration. You know what I'm saying with Russia and China, so it's gonna be, it's gonna get ready to be a bloody, uh, uh, uh getting ready to be a bloodbath right here in Babylon, the Great America. Also, this place is getting ready to be a third world country, and in that day, they shall know that a prophet was among. We constantly what are uh, blowing the trump. We constantly, hey man, hey man, we telling you left and right, it's time to seek the Lord. So the title of the day lesson, once again, a quick lesson through the Spirit, sound, all hell breaks loose. So let's start the videos. And that videos will start the lesson, and I hope that you will get edified. Here's the World War III news. I'm not going to lie, we got a big incident on our hands. So, it seems that NATO's infrastructure has been hit. A pipeline between Estonia and Finland has been damaged, along with telecommunication cables. They are already blaming Russia, but he already said if the investigation comes back as a deliberate attack, that they're going to respond. Here we go. Awesome address the incident uh, in the uh, Baltic uh, Sea uh, with the damage uh, caused to uh, uh, critical uh, undersea infrastructure. Uh, I spoke with President uh, Saudi Ninesto and Prime Minister uh, Kaya Kalas yesterday and we are in close contact. The important thing now is to establish what happened uh, and uh, how this could happen. If it is proven to be a deliberate uh, attack on uh, NATO critical infrastructure, uh, then this will be, uh, of course, serious, uh, but it will also be met by a united and determined response uh, from uh, NATO. A united response from NATO. 
That sounds like Article 5, which means an attack on one NATO member is an attack on all 31 members. So the United States, Canada, UK, France, Germany, Estonia, Latvia, um, Lithuania, and all the other NATO members will be dragged into a war with Russia. Then we got our Middle East problem. You see, the United States is about to send another aircraft carrier. I'm willing to bet that things are about to get wild. Anyways, listen to this and then we'll talk about it. I was finally saying something and saying that the United States would have uh, give unconditional support to Israel uh, while the administration tries to find out where those American hostages are that are being held in Gaza along with so many others. Uh, the USS Gerald R. Ford arriving in the eastern Mediterranean on Tuesday to deter other enemies of Israel from attacking while trying to prevent a broader regional conflict this morning. Uh, we know that Hezbollah, another terror organization, uh, has reportedly fired missiles at an Israeli uh, military position in the north. Israel did return fire on southern Lebanon, but we're getting a lot of notes here. Uh. Let me guess, the Hezbollah is about to get involved in this and hit the United States bases in Syria. This war is really getting out of hand. Anyways, let's talk about it. An Israeli official is calling for the nuclear missile option. An Israeli lawmaker is calling for her nation's military to use nuclear warfare in response to attacks by Hamas. They're even saying nuclear threats are coming out more since the war in Ukraine. Now we have the escalation in Gaza. Israel is a nuclear armed nation. I believe the U.S. second aircraft carrier is on its way to Israel as we speak. They are warning the last time that things have actually been this bad, we were actually on the verge of nuclear Armageddon. Yes, 50 years ago, the same kind of war almost brought us to nuclear Armageddon. Syria and Israel had a tit for tat last night, and so did the Lebanon and Israel. Mexico is rejecting our migrant centers, and I keep thinking how many of these governments, people, are planted on our territory already. South Korea is warning that North Korea might try to distract everybody with a nuclear test. Here's the one about Finland saying that the undersea gas pipeline and data cables were likely caused by external activity. And they said that they suspect that Russia hit the Baltic Sea gas pipeline, which means they would have hit the cables as well, which would have been Article 5. Jordan's aligning with the Palestine. China and Saudi Arabia are holding drills together out of nowhere for the second time. Romania finished their investigation on the Russian drones that crashed on their territory. They're saying it was intercepted by Ukraine's defense systems, then fell on their territory. And now Israel's sounding an alarm about Hezbollah drone infiltrating into their territory. And as of the making of this, it's rumored that there might be more than one. Really time to wake up, my friends. I've been trying to warn you guys for a while. Now it's here. More news next. What's going down in New York right now is absolutely horrible and shocking. We have people right now who support the murder of women and innocent people and babies. And they're in the streets of America. New York has also released a warning to all of its citizens to be careful for Palestinian Hamas supporters sleeper cells in the city. Now, if you're an American, I just want you to watch this video and then give me your thoughts in the comment section massacred Israeli civilians, raped women, took hostages. Protesters here in America cheered them on. Thank you all for being here, for raising your voices to celebrate the glorious victory of the resistance. There was some sort of rave or desert party where they were having a great time until the resistance came in electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. We sent Johnny into the Palestinian protest movement to get a glimpse. What's going on here today? Protest in solidarity with the resistance attack on the settler colony that is Israel. We didn't have no freedom at all. That's why Hamas, you know, did that. You know what I mean? Hamas, whether you like them or not, has been warning Israel to oppress our people, to oppress our people. We'll respond. We'll respond. And how do you feel about that? I'm happy that my people are responding and they're fighting back. What is your reaction to the music festival this week where a lot of innocent people were killed? We don't want innocent people to die, but it happens, you know, it's war. I don't condone that, you know, I don't condone violence, I don't condone rape. But that's what's happening over yeah. there. I know, it is what it is, you know. These festival goers are not innocent civilians, they are settlers. So they deserve it? Yes, every, every settler, yes. She's in America. The Israelis over there are calling you guys terrorists. I'm not surprised. They are the terrorists. That's bull****. 
We're not terrorists, man. We're just protecting our own land. That's it. There is nothing wrong with that term. What is the end goal here? The end goal is to free Palestine. There cannot be an Israeli. There cannot be. There cannot be an ethno supremacist state. So what does Joe Biden need to do? Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe him. Joe Biden making it worse. America first. America first. Not Israel first. I spoke to a guy before this and he said America first. You weren't happy with that lie. Israel would not exist without America. So no America first for you? No. Are you an American? Yes. And you don't want to put America first? No. These festival goers are not innocent civilians. They are settlers. So they deserved it? Yes. Every, every settler. Wow. I told y'all. Let me know your comments down below, because these people are in our nation. Palestinians, let me talk to you. Y'all got to get out the streets in New Orleans with this protesting shit. Y'all got to stop it. You feel me? I'm letting you know now because a lot of people don't really know what's going on. You feel me? You know, in Palestine, you know, you got Israel. I just got through from talking to some Palestinians in, in, in the store. And, and they was telling me, you dig, that they pissed off at Americans, you dig, for helping Israel attack them. And this is within. They here, you feel me? Pissed off at Americans. And they out in these streets riding this. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all got to y'all gotta cut that shit out. You heard me? Because these boys ain't playing. Y'all y'all in the streets marching and y'all chucks screaming and holla, 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 all this shit in the street. And they don't know what y'all saying. Y'all in the way blocking traffic. Man, it's going to happen. You gonna be calling them high, and you gonna hear them them things ring out, hung, 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 hung to get you out the way. So we'll start today's lesson, and uh, one thing about it is that all hell is getting ready to break loose. We seeing that, you know, in that last video, it's right in my backyard. They protesting down here in uh New Orleans. So we already know about New Orleans. These Jakes in New Orleans, they are a different breed. And I had to buy one thing about it is that, you know, hey man, Jake is getting ready to get it popping. Also, we knowing that what Jacob Trouble is at the door. So man, hey, we're here, man. Hey man, this yeah, civil unrest, civil war. It's right in your face. And I had to buy it, hey man. Hey man, we're in it. we're living in the end time. Well, whether, whether you will hear or whether you will for battle. So look, let's start today. Let's a, a very uh short lesson through the spirit of power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Let's start today lesson in uh second area chapter nine and verse one. It said, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time uh diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the sign pass which I have told thee before. Verse uh two, it said, Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Amen. Lord's a vision of the world that he made. He, he said, you know, he's making it good. You know what I'm saying? All of the what? Prophecies are lining up like clockwork. We're seeing it's coming to pass. And I about, you know, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the Lord has not done it. And I about the Lord is causing all these things to happen because what? We're ready to end. And also the Lord's getting ready to what? Bring forth judgment. Also, he's getting ready what? To usher in the kingdom of kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So like it. So, so we so hey, we seeing it right before our eyes. Man, hey, man, we're here. Verse 3 said, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. So we're seeing that right now with just a major earthquake, uh, I think in uh, New Guinea. And also, it was one reported in uh, uh, Mexico. And it's another spot. But it's, you know, earthquakes are all over the place, all in diverse places. Also, what? Uproars of the people. We're seeing the, what? This protesting, you know, this rioting. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 we're seeing that this, uh, these nations are rising against. Uh, 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 nation. Also, we seeing uh, America is the is completely divided, and I but we already know that man. It's it's getting ready to be violence in the land. You already know that what the blood is getting ready to run red like a river in the streets. So we already know we're here. Hey, Amen. The stage is set. Hey, Amen. Hey, but one thing about it is that you know whether you uh whether you will believe or not. Hey, Amen. It's it's going down right before your eyes. So let's start back up. Uh, second area, chapter nine and verse three said, therefore, when there shall, uh, shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, verse four, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Verse five said, for like as, as all that is made in the world has a beginning and the end and the end 
is manifest. So that about so we in that what transition to power when these birth pain out about we seeing it. You know that the Lord is bringing this what temporal world to an end. We we are, we coming to an end of what of a eon, and I but we get ready to come into a new age. What is that new age? The kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? And not about the world without end. And not about we cannot wait. We seeing that all these things are constantly happening. You know what I'm saying? On every side. They're not going to slack down for a moment. And about things to get ready what to escalate. We're at the what? The breaking point. We're at the what? The boiling point. You know what I mean? We're here, man. All hell breaks loose. Amen. Any given time. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, a lot of our people right now still are what? Not considered going on with their daily lives. And I'm still thinking that everything, they still think everything is going to be normal. Still thinking that, hey, it, it's the good old days. No, it's nothing going back to saying. It's going to get worse and worse right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, Amen. It's at the door. So now let's go here. Uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 13. We go here and we get one more. We close out. Uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 13. And we'll start up at verse at verse 6. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 6 says, say, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at uh, hand. It shall come as a desolation from the Almighty. Let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 6 says, say, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a desolation from the Almighty. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, get ready to come. Hey, man, that great day of the Lord, the fast of approach, uh, the day of gloominess, a day of darkness, you know what I'm saying? Desolation, destruction, the body count is getting ready to be great. You know what I'm saying? We constantly warn you. The Lord's getting ready to bring that indignation, that righteous anger. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we're here. Let us pay that. You know, the Lord said, I will repay. Verse 7 said, therefore, shall all hands be faint, and every man heart shall melt. Verse uh, 8 said, and then shall be a uh, uh, and, and they shall be afraid Pains and sorrows uh, Shall take hold of them They shall be in pain As a woman that travails They shall be amazed One uh, at another Their faces shall be as flames And I about when what When those missiles uh, be shot Those IBCM missiles They, hey, they face going to see all that Them flames coming right before their eyes You know what I'm saying And I about hey man we coming upon this time, man. World War Three, it is here. You know what I'm saying? It's officially World War Three has begun, and once again, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Hey, man, all kind of uh, chaos, all type of uh, havoc and uproars. You know what I'm saying? Despair, vexation, man. Hey, it is here, man. Uh, 19, and also you know, famine of the word is coming. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, man, many shall be taken in a great number. Verse nine, uh, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse nine. It said, Behold, the day of the Lord comes cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. It's getting ready to happen. Verse 10 said, For the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his, uh, his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Not because of what this... Uh, nuclear exchange not about all this smoke and uh radio uh, 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 uh nuclear activity in the sky it's gonna blot out the sun you know what i'm saying so that about all these things get ready to happen the lord's gonna return in the midst of world war three the whole world will be on fire also the whole world will be fighting each other it's gonna be man it's gonna be a lawless time you know what i'm saying so the lord's get ready to come back and set the record straight verse 11 said and i will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and i will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and i will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible now that's what the lord is getting ready to do the lord is getting ready you know what i'm saying it, it, you know what i'm saying it, uh if you if you are not in his truth you know you're not in this wisdom and now the lord is getting ready to bring drug uh bring judgment upon you you know what i'm saying and out about hey man we can't you warn you left uh left and right you know what i'm saying so the the judgment is upon the heathens also what the two-thirds you know what i'm saying so lord's getting ready to bring it you know what i'm saying all that, these people are walking around with what with great pride you know what i'm saying lovers of themselves you know what i'm saying still uh thinking a vain thing and i but one thing about the lord's getting ready to cease all of that you know this person saying this this person saying that i don't believe this i don't believe that this is not going to happen you know still hollering about what white man jesus you know what i'm saying hey man Still think that you uh, have a chance. You still thinking that this is far on down the road, but you're in for a rude awakening. The Lord's getting ready to cease all of that. 
Verse 12 says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wears an offer. So when that time of trouble comes, it's going to be a lot of great death and sorrow. Even in, in Jacob's trouble, you know, a lot of women will be, uh, will be, uh, 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 uh will be humble in that time. You know, they get ready what? to get their mind right. So a lot of uh, men are getting ready. A lot of women are getting ready uh, to die. So a lot of a lot of women would not help husbands, would not help helpers, would not help uh, uh, brothers. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things are getting ready to happen. That uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 is getting ready to come into play also. You know, so, so the Lord is getting ready to get everyone back into order. You know what I'm saying? You're getting ready to get your mind right in Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said, let go of the mortal of thought. Gird up your Lord. Amen. Call one thing about it. Get prepared. Call amen. A time of trouble that we have never seen before. So let's start back up at verse 13. It said, Therefore, will will uh uh Salak, uh Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 13. It said, Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth uh, shall re uh, remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready what? When those missiles fly. You know what I'm saying? This place is getting ready to be a total desolation. In one hour, thy judgment come. Verse 14, it said, and it shall be as uh, the chase roll. It said, and it shall be as the chase roll and as a sheep uh, that no man take us up. They shall, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone unto his own land. And I, we're seeing that happening right now. A lot of people are going back over to see that America is, is, is finished. They're seeing that we have a weak economy, a weak uh, interest struggle. They're seeing that this nation is divided. Now, everybody, you know, they say they shall be like a uh, chase row as a sheep. That's going to be like what the so-called right white man, he's going to be what? Running for his life. Got every hand of the what? Of the wicked or his laborers or his ally is going to be upon him. You know what I'm saying? And not about you. So a lot of people going to what? Flee out of midst of what? Of Babylon. Because they already know this, this place is what? Circling the drain. And not about all hell is getting ready to break loose. So a lot of these foreigners, they're packing up, getting the hell up out of here because they already know this is getting ready to be a bloodbath. Hey, Amen. It's, it's, it's Man, it's happening right before our eyes, man. We're rejoicing, man. We're oh, we almost there, man. Woo, we're almost there. You know, our salvation is very close, and we yet believe. Uh, verse 15 said, Say, everyone that is found uh, shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto him shall be uh, shall fall by the sword. So a lot of people, you know, will be joined to the what the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. If you with him or you're allied with him, you know what I'm saying, constantly going on with this new world order, whatever type of endeavors you have with him, you will be totally destroyed with him because the whole world is getting ready to turn against this red devil. You know what I'm saying? And we cannot wait. Verse 16, their children also shall be dashed dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Say you already know that this uh these uh uh these illegal migrants they are here. You know what I'm saying? These are uh, terrorists from these other uh countries, you know, they already got them waiting here. You know what I'm saying? Young military men. You know what I'm saying? You already know, hey man, they get ready to eat these women alive. They get ready to what? Rape them to pieces. You know what I'm saying? They sh shall be like madmen. Hey man, we coming upon that time. We cuss you one. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. Get ready. Hey man, they get ready to tear this place to pieces. Are they get finished tearing this place to pieces? If you ain't true, they're gonna withdraw. And also they're gonna drop them 200 what? Uh uh 200 a uh, uh, million war here on a mark and this place will be a what a lake of fire if you're not getting beaten up you're getting burnt up if you love it here you're getting ready to die here if you're not ready to rule you're getting ready to die we come to the one you left and right hey man it is at the door all hell breaks loose uh verse 17 said behold i will stir up the Medes against them which uh, shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. And I was talking about here, the Mies, he shall raise up the what? The spirit of me, which in fact is what? Russia. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, the Russia got them get ready to devour much a much flat. Hey man, Putin getting ready to goddamn to level this place. Now about he's he's getting ready to push the button. And I bet it's already been prophesied. And out about hey, America is getting ready to go down into what a blaze of glory. And out about we cannot wait, man. Lord, hey man, hey Lord coming back to set this place on fire. You know what I'm saying? We cannot wait, man. Let's get ready to happen, man. Hey man, also he said shall not regard as silver or they gold. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, it's not gonna profit you. You know what I'm saying? And and, and when the Lord bring his wrath, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you are 
If you're not part of the elect, you will be told to destroy. The Lord is laying everything down. And out of the body, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have that, that uh, mark of salvation on you, you will be told to destroy. Ezekiel chapter 9, hey man, the Lord is getting ready to bring it, man. He's going to lay people down even with the ground. Get ready to turn you into what? Into powder. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, that lays in chariot out also with those what? IBCM missiles. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready what? To bring the fire. And also what? The tutor and these heathen, they're getting ready what? To fill the fire. Hey man, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Verse 18 said, their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces and there shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. That's right. They're going to kill children. They're going to kill pregnant women. They ain't going to give a damn. Young or old, it's getting ready to be a lawless time. Egyptian against Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is going to be fighting. And out about the Lord's going to have to come back and set up that righteous order. And out about we cannot wait. Verse 9, 19. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans, excellency, shall be as when uh, the Almighty, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And out of it's going to be 10 times worse. It's going to be like a welfare cake. You know, it destroyed what, you know what happened in the last time. Lord destroyed that place. All those alphabet people, all those, you know what I'm saying, rainbow people, upside down people. You understand what I'm saying? Same thing. That happened back then in Noah's time, in Lot's time, are the same things that happened in these times. But the Lord's getting ready to destroy this place with what? With great glory and great power. You know what I'm saying? All hell is getting ready to break loose and we cannot wait. So rejoice ye heaven. So now let's go here. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more. It said, verse 20 it said, it, it, uh, Isaiah chapter 20, Salakia. Isaiah chapter 20, Isaiah chapter 13, Salakia. And verse 20. Say it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be uh, uh be dwelled in in from generation to generation, neither shall the uh the Arabian uh pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds uh make their fold there. It, verse 21 said, But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and uh sideswash. Uh, shall dance there. Man, one thing about it, man, man, this place is going to be totally destroyed. There would be no inhabitants left there. And I'd about to say the Arabian uh, uh, shall not even pitch their tent here. So it won't be no more what grinding and cease, no more uh, export, no more uh, import, no more merchandise, none of that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to shut this place down. This is getting ready to be a burnt offering of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, Amen. Lord's getting ready to totally destroy this place. But a lot of people still are not believing. They still think that this is going to be far down the road. I won't be living in this way. Hey, you right here, we're living in the end time, real time. Any given day, all hell can break loose. Hey, Amen. We're here. It is at the door. Uh, let's start back up at a verse. Uh, let's get this last verse. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 22. And it reads, And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate, desolate houses, and the dragons in their uh pleasant uh palace and and her times it and her time is near to come and her day shall not be prolonged and out of about hey babylon the great mark and out about this place is gonna be number number doleful creatures will live here dragons owls you know what i'm saying all sorts of unclean creatures and i that's it this place is getting ready to be a total wasteland also it's gonna be a what a great desert and i bet you ain't gonna know uh uh, Chicago, New York, from Mississippi to California, you ain't gonna know anything. The Lord is gonna burn the, all the elements up when you go to what Second uh, Peter chapter three. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, the Lord's get, gonna melt the elements down. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, so hey man, we are living in some exciting time and also some dark perilous time. So let's go to that last and final script and we'll close out. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Let's go here to uh, First Peter. I think it's First Peter chapter four. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. Let's go here. We'll close out here. And it reads, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And I by so it's the end of what? This temple world. Esau is the end of this earth age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow what the true is will. 
Israel. You know what I'm saying? We get ready to come into power. And I about so we're at the end of a what era, end of an age. And I about so the Lord's getting ready to replenish the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's got them getting ready to be a new what rulership, a new heaven in the earth that dwells in righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Not about and we will be in charge. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, slavery is coming back in a big way. The Lord's getting ready to pay all these heathens, also the two thirds. And I about hey man, call one thing about it. They loved it here. You know what I'm saying? They get ready to die here. You know what I'm saying? They live like a heathen. They get ready to die. Like a heathen, hey man, hey, we cut your wine. It is here, it is at the door, whether you were here or whether you will for bow. So, the title of the day lesson once again is All Hell Breaks Loose. So, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikaka Dash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.